all right what's up everyone welcome to the surfside ppc youtube channel today i'm going to start going over some different shopify tutorials so you can get started with your shopify website and make sure you're, make sure you're tracking all of your different conversions into google analytics into google ads um, so for this one today i'm going to be going over how to set up enhanced e-commerce through google analytics and shopify so the first thing you need to start with is obviously a google analytics account so if you go to analytics.google.com, you can easily set up an account for your website. All you need to do is go through the steps. It's just a quick step-by-step -step process. You enter your website URL. And once you have your analytics account created, you're gonna get an ID from your Google Analytics account that looks something like UA dash, and then a string of numbers, and then dash one or dash two. Um, so you're gonna take that and you're gonna head over to Shopify. Now, if you're not sure where to find that, what you can do is you can head over to your admin screen in Google Analytics, so you can see admin right here. Um, enter into your Google Analytics account, so I have my Surfside PPC account open for right now. And what you can do is just click on property settings and you're gonna be able to see your tracking ID right here. So it's UA dash, and then you're gonna have a string of numbers, and then you're gonna have a dash one, dash two. It depends which number property it is. Um, so you don't need to go to the actual account settings, you need to go to property settings and that's where you can find it. And then what you wanna do is head over to Shopify. So we're gonna go over to Shopify now. And then in Shopify, what you wanna do is click on online store over here, down the left-hand side. So you're gonna see sales channels and you can click on online store and then preferences. And under preferences, you wanna enter that code right here. So UA dash, enter the entire string of numbers. And you wanna make sure you check this right here, use enhanced e-commerce. And then you wanna to scroll to the bottom of the page and click on save. So that's gonna allow you to start tracking all of your website data into Google Analytics. So now the last thing you need to do is if we head back over to Google Analytics here, so now we're back over to our account in our right property. And what we can do is you can see we have admin down here. That's the screen we're on. So you click on admin. Okay, just a quick disclaimer. So all of these videos are being done on behalf of a client, zerocompressionbackbrace.com. So there's certain information I'm not gonna show to you uh, in terms of sales data and things like that. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. But because this client has allowed me to create videos using their website and using their advertising accounts, it allows me to release these videos for free rather than giving you a paid course. So if you do need a back brace, go to zerocompressionbackbrace.com. Otherwise, keep watching our Shopify videos. Thank you for watching our videos and now back to it. Under view, you wanna click on e-commerce settings. So when you click on that, it's gonna say e-commerce setup. You have to make sure you enable an e-commerce and enable enhanced e-commerce reporting and click on save. So it's really that simple. Create a Google Analytics account, get your ID from your Google Analytics account, head over to Shopify, enter it right there when you go to online store and then preferences. And then in your admin screen of Google Analytics, you can come back here, enable e-commerce, enable enhanced e-commerce reporting, click on save. And then what you can do is when you come to conversions here and you click on e-commerce and you click on overview. So this is gonna allow you to get a screen that looks like this. So you're able to see all of your data for the month, for the day. So I just set this up so there's no data coming in yet. Um, so when you set it up, it's gonna take a little bit of time. You're gonna have to start driving some sales. Once you start driving some sales, um, even if your website has existing sales, it won't show up here. But once you start driving some sales, you'll see transactions, average order value, e-commerce conversion rate, revenue. And then you can learn a little bit more about marketing, which products are selling, which product categories are selling, which product brands are selling. And then there's even more data down here below. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you set up enhanced e-commerce reporting using Google Analytics and Shopify. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel and make sure you check out our Shopify playlist for tons of tutorials about creating a Shopify website and how to set up advertising campaigns for your Shopify website.